Hi, my name is Gala. I'm a looker expert. And today we will talk about data preparation um, for visualization. I guess if you work with Looker Studio, you work a lot with Google Sheets. And uh, let's talk today about one case uh, that I will to share to you. It's about reg mesh, regex mesh formula. Uh, we have CRM data. It's a random data. I selected random dates, random revenue, random data sources, and campaign names. And uh, so we have a date, UTM source, campaign, email, and revenue. And uh, what we need to do, our task is to find, uh, to add two columns, uh, like language and type. And we will take this data from campaign names. Uh, what does it mean? I created additional tab, and it's called rules, where we can find our rule. Uh, for example, languages. In our campaign name, yeah, this is our campaign names, we have three options of, la of language, US, UK, and France. It is not language, it is uh, uh, geotargeting. And uh, we want to say, so, if our campaign is shown in US or UK, uh, language is English, if it is French, it is French. French. And uh, so, this is the rule for the first column, and I already added this rule to this tab, and added here. And the next rule about type, uh, type of ads, we have uh, four markers in our campaign names, like search, YouTube, brand, and discovery. And depend on this marker, we should select PPC or video campaign, video ads type. How can I do it? Uh, definitely, there are several ways to do it, because Google Sheets is a super flexible instrument. I will show you my way that I found the easiest way to do it. Uh, our trigger, trigger, uh, in our case, it is this one. So, we have four types of campaigns. Depend on the trigger, we should show two different types. If we have search campaign, it is PPC. If it is YouTube, it is a video. Uh, brand, it means PPC. And discovery, it is a video campaign. Uh, next step, we should show here type options. Type options, we have two, PPC and video. Uh, then, we should prepare our expression that we can use in regex mesh formula. Our expression should have uh, the same, um, the next view. I need the vertical this symbol. I will use D10 cell for that. Uh, I already added formula, but let's write it. How can I do? If I want to use PPC campaign, a formula looks like that. If trigger is search or vertical line or Brand. Okay, this is mean search brand. Oh, if we want to set up video campaigns, we okay. If trigger is YouTube or discovery, it will be video campaigns. So we have uh, two these triggers with vertical line. This is our expression for regex match formula. We need it because we have several options. If we don't, if we have only like uh, search and we don't have brand campaign, so we don't need this expression. We can use only search as a trigger. But we need uh, two, so we have to use this vertical line. And uh, uh, for example, if we have here, if we 
we could have here more than two options. So we could have like a non-brand campaign. We could have uh, I don't know um, awareness. We have different and if we have here like it should be PPC as well. So we should add this trigger again for our expression. It would be like this. We don't have this, so we can stay with this view. Uh, okay, and next step, regex match formula. Uh, we can type it directly here on this tab where we have CRM for GDS, where we have this type column. Uh, but we can do it on this tab, on the rule tab, just to check because it's more comfortable to see. Or we can set up the formula here on this tab and then move it to our final tab. Uh, formula will like uh, will be like that reg x match. Uh, text it means campaign, so where we should check the text, and and here regular expression. So this is the point. Uh, if we have only one trigger, we can select only one trigger. But we have two, so we use this option. Like, So we check if this campaign name contains search brand. Close formal. Now we have true uh, or false. True or false. Nice. It's already good. Um, then we will use, okay, we will fix this H12, this uh, regular expression row, we will fix it. Yeah, I will use dollar sign for that. Um, yeah, so we have true, false, true, false, true, false, depend on the campaign name. So if campaign name contains brand or search we have true here you see brand friend september we have true nice next step for this formula i will add if formula but we have if with multiply criterion so we should use is then i open bracket and if this our rug match expression is true so please select this cell. I should fix it as well with F4 and add dollar signs. And next condition is if we should repeat a regex match formula, if our campaign name contains YouTube or discovery, oh sorry, uh, if campaign names contains YouTube or discovery, please use this value. And I close bracket. I fix this and the cells. Uh, it's already not bad. We already have, instead of true and false, we have video and PPC. But, for example, if we edit here uh, where we don't have campaign name or if we didn't find anything, we have an error. And uh, we are preparing data for visualization in Looker Studio, so we cannot have an error there. Uh, so let's use if error formula just to avoid these errors. Uh, if error, um, like other, could be like this, could be other, or it could be just empty cell. It's fine as well. Depend on your goal, depend on your options. Uh, the next step that I want to add here, it will be a ray formula. Uh, because when we have, we don't know the, to the exact number of rows that we have because our data is updates all the time. So I would prefer to use array formulas and just do not copy formula for each cell. Okay, 
how does it look? I add here a rate formula. A rate formula. And I should change uh, exact cell to data range where, where I need it. I do it only for A, uh, for campaign names, because these uh, our triggers and campaign type are fixed. And uh, that is it. Let's double check. Brand BPC, discovery, discover its video, brand BPC. So that is it. We added formula uh, based on two triggers. We add campaign type. If we have more triggers, we can play with it. So this is really nice. and. Uh, I use it quite often because of the tasks that I have. And like next step, we just can copy this formula to our CRM tab. Uh, OK, I, I have it already here. OK, I have it already here. Mm, just exactly the same formula as we wrote. I will keep it like this. Uh, link to this file you will find in below this video. And I will add formula for you uh, here. Reg X match match formula. Just you can see it if you want to use it and copy and update cells for your project. So I think that is it. Hope you like this video. You can ask questions below if you have, but I, I really hope that it's ob it's now became more oh, not obvious, but <laughs> this video was easy to understand because formula is not easy, but I tried to explain it in an easy way, so hope you like it. Uh, yeah, please follow me in the, uh, on YouTube and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.